the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is 25th day of September, being Saturday, and we're 25. Today we celebrate our Blessed Virgin Mary on Saturday. I read this will be coming from Prophet Zachariah, chapter 2, verse 1 to 5, 10 to 11. A response will sound come from Psalm 31, verse 10 D. A gospel message will come from Luke Gospel chapter 9, verse 41 to 45. The theme of our message today is, our ways is not the way of God. Our ways, human ways are not the way of God. So our ways are not the way of God. And that's what God wants to address to us this morning. That our ways are not his ways. I said it earlier, our ways are not his ways. As the sky is above the earth, so our way is different from his own way. As people were celebrating the marvels and wonders of the being of our Lord Jesus Christ, the work he was doing. When people were celebrating this glory of the man who had done what no person could do, he called their disciples and said, let the sick into your house. And they begin to wait what will next. And they would start telling them that the Son of Man will be delivered into the hand of men. Eh? Delivered into the hand of men, you, and be killed. <coughs> and be on the third day. The disciples couldn't comprehend this. They couldn't understand what he's talking about. Man who performed miracles, who had those impossible things. How can you say he will be delivered into the hand of men? Which men? So they couldn't understand it. They can't fat on it. And that way they ignored even what he was saying. And pay attention to something else. They didn't understand and they dared not ask him. They were afraid to ask him. How can you ask such a question? Something far from your thought. So he was showing them, your ways are not my ways. Normally a person who is strong and powerful, others will bow before him. Nothing now bow, bow down before the lower beings. People he was, that were not his match. But that's the word of God. That he has to humble himself to be lifted up. To lower down himself, even though he finds himself a great position. Every man wants to be on high, wants to be on top of every person. But this is the word of, not the word of God, it's the word of men. You want to overcome the people, not the word of God. That's what he's telling us today. That that powerful God you talk, that powerful Jesus you talk, will be under men. And they're okay. His ways is not our ways. If you're a strong man, a strong country in this world, we want other nations to go under them. They can't go under smaller nations. That's the way of men. That's our accepted norms all over the place. And that's why when you come to the world, United Nations, you have a country that have veto powers. Why do they talk about veto powers? That they can't go take, succumb to the decision of the lower powers. So that if they say anything and this, they can oppose it and veto it. That's why I talk about the veto powers in the United Nations. And for you to be a veto power, you must be a, strong, a very powerful country. And about five nations have veto powers. Russia, America, China, Britain. Huh? You have to be a powerful nation to have veto power. Because they don't want to succumb to the lower power or decision of the lower nations. That's the way of men, but not the way of God. And that way today, you can see the way of men still. Prophet Zachariah today prophesied the, what men were doing. He said he lifted up his eyes and saw a man with a measuring line in his hand. What does he want to measure? He wants to measure the length and breadth of Jerusalem possibly to wall it. But as he was still talking, doing, talking about this, an angel came 
who talked to him and said, go and tell that young man that the Jerusalem will be like a village. It should not be walled because of the multitude of people there and that animal. It's not to be walled. So the weight of men is that this country, for this security, you have to ward the place. That's the weight of men. That's security for the men. But God said no. Ladder, he will not be the wall of fire around the city. That's the word of God. The wall of fire around the city. That's the word of God. Not physical things, not by might, not by might, but by, by the Spirit of God. That's his way. And the city now, no, instead of glorifying themselves on what properties they have and material things they have, they will not glorify, glory in God. The glory of the city will be God. Not material things, not the weight of nations. That's the way of God, different from the way of men. And that's why it goes on to say to them, Sing and dance, daughters of Zion. For I come, I will dwell in your midst, says the Lord of hosts. Imagine, say, you're coming to dwell among them. What is coming to dwell among us? We don't give us employment. We don't give us money. We don't give us what dwell among us. That they should rejoice and dance. It's only when you are no more on the limb of men that you will rejoice and dance because God is your midst. You must have grown above the level of men. Every man is looking, where do we see a bag of garlic or rice or beans or money? But this time they rejoice because of God in their midst. And many nations will join. They say, to the Lord that day, many nations will start seeking him. You can now explain the reason why there is pilgrimage in Jerusalem. Many nations will come to seek him. And there he shall be their God, and they, they will be his people. He will be in their midst. That is the word of God, not the word of men. And that's why the psalmist wants to see this so way well to say today, the Lord will keep us as a shepherd, keep his flock. A shepherd normally keeps the flock in word of men for his benefit. For his economic power, for his prosperity. But God keeps us for our own good. Not for his, for his own good. For his own, our own good. We have nothing to do for him. Somebody is shepherding you for your own good, not for himself. But the shepherd shepherds the sheep for his own benefit, for his financial position. That's the word of man. But God shepherds us and shepherds shepherd them for the benefit of the flock, not for himself. That's why he said, I lay down my life for my sheep. I'm a good shepherd. I lay down my life for my sheep. You see the difference? The word of God, not the word of men. So you can see our ways in not the word of God. And that's what God is telling us today. So anytime you think your, your way should be the word of God, you're making a mistake. If you think that you are human idiosyncrasy, be with the word of God. That is not making it possible. The way of men are different from the word of God. And when you turn to the word of God, you, you discover that men these men are doing, you will not do them anymore. That's what you call conversion. Leaving your own human way of doing things to do it the way of the heavenly order. That makes you a Christian. That's the difference. May God help us today to understand that our ways are not the word of God. And to be the God, the word of God is for you to abandon the will of men and follow the word of God. And then become a chosen less. Be a person set apart for the glory of God. May God help us understand this today through Christ our Lord. And that's why today we celebrate our Blessed Virgin Mary who knew the way of God and abandoned her way of human being. That's why I say, Behold, I'm the handmaid of the Lord. Let it be done to me according to your word. No more according to myself. You can see in Luke chapter 1, verse 38. And that's why the mother just celebrates on Saturday. Her ways are now word of God, no more word of people. And that's why it was conceived by the Holy Spirit, not by men. Since we know this today and understand this, and have seen an example of a person who did it, may God help us to attain the same purpose, like our blessed Virgin Mary. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us, and we celebrate our ability to live our way of men and follow the word of God. And by the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all.